are fighting for what's right. I believe in the fundamental right of all workers to be able to organize. All those rights take on a special urgency today and are very, very important when we talk about our hospital workers, who are mostly women, women of color. Many women that live in my ward work in these places and travel far to make a living wage, but they're not getting enough money to put food on their table, pay for transportation, pay for health care. They're not making that money. So they're actually facing off against the powerful and wealthy hospital industry. Our frontline hospital workers are the backbone of these hospitals. They are the foundation because without them, these hospitals would not be functioning. These workers allow these hospitals to make record profits. So why is an industry refusing to give these workers a real stake and a real voice within the healthcare system? Why, you ask? because it's all about power. They want to hold on to the power and keep the worker down. The Illinois Hospital Association doesn't want to give the workers the ability to have a say over management, over direction, over staffing, resources, and wages for their workers. This is their ultimate fear. We all know that the hospital industry plays workers off each other as a way of suppressing wages and denying them a collective voice. This is the oldest trick in the book, divide and conquer. When we stand together, we win. When we stand up and fight back, we win. Never doubt that a group of concerned people can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. That's why it is essential that these workers should be able to join a union and fight back against an industry that puts pressure